Happy Sunday. Today is homeschool prep day. So at the beginning of each week on Sundays, I prep the I prepare the lessons, my the homeschool lessons for all of my children, starting with my oldest, my 12 year old, then 11 and then my six year old. We do have a three year old, but right now he's still on the basics of ABCs and colors and shapes. So I really don't put his stuff into our homeschool system. And remember, the homeschool software application that we use is called Notion. There's a link in the description for you to purchase a subscription or check it out. It is a wonderful tool for you, a wonderful productivity tool for you that can help you manage your homeschool systems. It allows my wife and I to give our children some level of independence. So with Notion, I input all of their lessons and all of the tasks associated with each lesson. It may say read chapter one and two and answer these questions. All of that information I am able to put into Notion. And not only am I able to put in or just type in the task that they are supposed to do, I also can upload PDF documents, pictures, and any other files that they may have to use for that particular lesson. It's all managed within the Notion application. So the, it helps with our children's independence because once I input this information into Notion, then on a weekly basis or on a daily basis, they will go in, they will go to their specific dashboard that's designed for them and all of their lessons will be right there for today. And they do have the ability that as they are completing a lesson or as they are in progress and once they are done, they can update the status. So when their mom and I go back into Notion, we can see what they've completed and what they have not completed. And that makes it easier for us to track and also for reporting. So once we do our end of the day review, then we'll say, hey, guys, did you do this? Did you do this? Did you do this? And we can go through each step and show it'll show us what they have completed. But I do recommend this tool, this software application called Notion. Once again, the link is in the description for you to check it out. It's very inexpensive and it is there is a lot of people out there who have created templates that can make it even easier for you to use. Now, many of the curriculums that we use, sometimes they require additional resources, like additional books that they have to read, especially the literature and grammar cur curriculums that we've chosen. They require that our children read certain books and then a certain amount over a period of time. Well, a tip that I have is utilize your local library. It is one of the largest free resources, or not free because we pay for it with our taxes, but it's one of the largest resources that you have at your disposal that you pay for with your taxes. And whenever one of the curriculums call for or re require our children to have a certain book, the first thing we'll do before we before we go and purchase it, we will check and see if it is at our local library or within our library system. And if it is, we will place a hold on it so that way nobody else can check it out. And in a day or two, we will get a notification that the resource is available at our local library for us to go and check out. One of the challenging things before we implemented Notion was each and every day we would have to go over with the children. We have to meet with them every morning and go over them. This is what you have today. This is what you have today. This is what you have today. Because as a homeschool teacher or as we since we homeschool our children, they look to us for direction. We, we don't have a teacher uh, in a school whose responsibility is for our children's education. As homeschoolers, we are responsible for our children's education. So each and every day they will come and we will have to meet with them every day and say, hey, this is what you have to do today. This is what you have to do today. And we will have to stay on top of them to complete it. But Notion has made it easier for both of us, us as teachers and them as homeschool students to manage their curriculums and manage their education. It typically takes me about 30 minutes to prepare for homeschool for the week. 
I have to make sure that nothing is missing. I have to call the kids in. I have to check with them to see if they actually completed some of the lessons that was assigned to them last week, especially if they are not marked. Now, typically we will at the end of each day, we'll do a review and just verify that they have done it. But once I come back in on Sundays on today and start next week, I just re-verify that they have completed all of their lessons. So once again, the link to Notion is in the description. You can use it for homeschool or if you need a app to help you manage productivity in your in other areas of your life, whether it's work or business or entrepreneurship, then I would definitely consider Notion as a tool for you to use. And once again, you can always go out on Etsy and purchase templates that can give you a great starting point so that way you don't have to build anything from scratch. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the link to get notified of new episodes. And I'll see you next time.